Well, it's 11 o'clock. We're getting ready to leave. Say goodbye, hotel room. Of course, on our last day, it's absolutely gorgeous outside. No pool day for us, so. My com camera just completely fogged up. You ready? Ready. So, I'll see you guys in a little while. Bye, room. So this is our favorite restaurant, Doji's. It's this Venezuelan restaurant, and it is so cute. See all the hats up there and stuff that I get. Isn't it adorable? There's my cute husband. Hello. Okay, you guys are gonna get a really short vlog today because I just got home a little while ago. Our flight was treacherous. Um, I'll tell you what I did today. Well, you saw us at Doji's, if it'll let me print. I, I filmed like 10 seconds at Doji's, our favorite restaurant in Miami, which is a Venezuelan restaurant. And, um, but it uh, had music in the background. So I don't know that I'll be able to put it up there. Um, but then we like, before that, okay. So we left the hotel room and then Alex was like, we had to check out, it was so stupid. We love that hotel, but like we were both like, okay, next time we're staying somewhere else because we stay there every single time, and, and do you ever like have that like, you go someplace and you stay there like once and you like fall in love with it because like as a couple, it's like your place. Well, the Victor Hotel is kind of like our place. Like, I don't know, it's just like a romantic spot that we go to, and um, so we always go and stay there and we don't try any place else in Miami, but this time it just was like, it was nice, but it just was like, the service was horrible, and, um, you know, like, I think that if you come to a place over and over and over again, it'd be nice if they kind of, like, like, we've been there now, like, seven or eight times, like, they don't ever remember us, they don't ever, like, not that I'm asking for any kind of special treatment, because I'm not, but it would just be like, oh, so you've been here before, or what, you know, like, oh, hey, it's nice to have you back, or anything like that. And in fact, like we, our plane didn't leave until 7.30 today, tonight. And so the checkout was at 11. And we asked when we made the, uh, rec when we uh, blah, blah, booked the room for a late checkout, they said, well, you have to wait till you get here. So when we got there, we asked for a late checkout. They said, you have to call the morning of. We said, we can't call the night before. And they're like, no, we won't know till the next day how many checkouts we're gonna have. You don't know the night before how many checkouts you're having. So you have to call the next day. So Alex had to call this morning, like super early, he set his alarm. Cause he's always the one that deals with all that stuff. And he's so good. I mean, like, I love my husband for that. He, he just, he takes care of stuff. Like Alex takes care of me. I don't think, that's like one thing that I don't think people see on here a lot is that like, Alex books the plane tickets, Alex books the trips, Alex does all that. Like, I'm just not good with that. Like, I don't even, like, really know how to do an Uber. <laughs> like, today he was like, it's your turn to get it. And I was like, well, I don't know what I'm, if I'm doing it wrong. He's like, here, I'm going to teach you. This is how you do He's like, very patient with me. So, but he's so good at that stuff. And so he said, it, no questions asked. Set his alarm this morning, you know, for the crack ass of dawn. And um, I heard him, like, call. And, and they were like, okay, call back in, like, an hour. So he set his alarm again. And then they were like, no, we don't have, like, your, we don't have any availability. And at that point, he had already gotten up twice. And it was, like, 8 o'clock. So we went back to, he went back to bed. But it's like, okay, <laughs> this is funny later. So, so fine, we're not big complainers about stuff. You know, it's like, whatever. I mean, we're not going to, you know, shoot the messenger because they can't help what's going on. They must have had a lot of people coming in. They said they had a lot of check-ins today. And so they needed to clean all the rooms. Okay, so we checked out at like 10.45. Alex was like completely dressed in jeans and his brand new shirt from Zara. And he's like, what do you want to do? And we had decided that we were going to go to Doji's for lunch and then go from there to the airport because it's closer to the airport. It's in Brickell. And um, so we were just going to kind of shop around there, but it's 10.45. We don't need to leave Doji's until like 4.30. So we've got like 
six hours or something until, you know, like, we don't know what we're going to do. So I said, let's go to Starbucks because I am cranky and I am tired and I want some coffee. So we went to a Starbucks and we sat there and he was like, well, do you want to just walk around with our coffee? What do you want to do? And I was like, well, can we just sit here and I can like read or listen to music? He's like, yeah. He's like, I can get a lot of work done. I can, you know, whatever. Because Alex, uh, my nose is driving me crazy. Ever since we came, got back in, it's like my allergies just like flared up like that. Um, Alex has a lot of contractual work, so he can work from anywhere. So he's like, yeah, I can get some work done. So he sat there. We sat there for an hour. I listened to music. I downloaded, like, Stevie Nicks and um, Jesus and Mary Chain, Taste of Cindy, which is one of my all-time favorite songs, and all this other music. Uh, what's that? Ray, L I can't think of what his name is. Who's that guy? I love his music, and I've had it Shazammed forever, and I haven't been getting it. Um, I was listening to Stevie Nicks. Uh, Ray Lamont, La, 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 I can never pronounce names. You guys know what I'm talking about, that Trouble song? The thing is a song called, um, Oh My Nose! Uh, Montan Montana, like if somebody said it, I would know it. Like that's how well I know this guy's music. I used to listen to it all the time. He has a song called Jolene that I love. And then I downloaded Natalie Cole's This Will Be an everlasting love. I love that song. But anyway, and then I was like going through my Shazam and like cleaning it out and then I was reading and then I was doing some social media stuff, which I don't even know what that means, social media stuff, reading through Twitter, going through Instagram. <laughs> what does that mean? And so then like at an hour, he was like, are you bored? I was like, yeah, I'm kind of bored. He was like, okay, let's go walk around. It was the most beautiful day today in Miami that we had like literally all week long, right? I was like, I looked at the sky, not a cloud in the sky. I said, I cannot believe it is like almost 90 degrees and it is absolutely beautiful the one day that we cannot go to the pool. And he goes, well, let's just go to the pool. And I was like, are you sure? So like, I had all my stuff packed. I had wanted to get this bait. Oh, this was right after. First, we went into this like souvenir store there because they had these bathing suits that I wanted to get. I think they were called like Zoomies or Zoom. The place wasn't called that. That's like a skater store. But these bathing suits were called like Zuzus or something like that. And they were like men's bathing suits, but they were like cut higher, like on the thigh. But they were still bathing suits. Like I'm not wearing no speedo. Nobody wants to see that. And so I got like this like t like bright teal blue one. And it just was strange that I got it. And then Alex was like, let's go to the pool. So I have that. So I put that on and we had our backpacks and we just like went to our pool at our hotel. And cause we had like had them hold our bags for us until we got back from going to Starbucks. Cause we were just going to walk around and neither one of us wanted to buy anything. So we got to lay out by the pool for like two and a half hours. It was so nice. We met these, uh, this couple next to us that were a little bit older. Well, they were older than me. Um, they were probably 10 or 15 years. Well, he was probably 20 years older than me. Um, from Quebec. And um, they were talking about like what Quebec is like compared to, you know, Miami. And they were asking us questions about Indianapolis. And so anyway, we talked to them and... Um, it was so nice. It was so beautiful. I think I got a little bit of sun today. Alex is really dark. And um, then we went and got dressed. And it very much felt like we were uh, like hot, like <laughs> like traveling, staying in a hostel. I don't know why. Just because we had our clothes in our backpack. So then we went to um, Doji's and... We ate, this guy is like walking out here. I'm at the gas station where these gas pumps are, this old man that very much looks like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Poltergeist 2. That creepy guy in Poltergeist 2, he looks just like him and he's like smoking a cigarette and he's walking out here by the tanks. And I'm like, would you please not blow me up? So anyway, um, YouTuber dies in fumes at gas station. <laughs> um, I was thirsty, I just went into the gas station and got v I'm going back on my diet tomorrow, but I did get some combos, too. So, anyway, um, do you guys like V8s? I love V8s. I feel like a V8. Do you guys smell your food? I love to smell my food. Alex always laughs at me about that. And so, I started listening to my new audiobook, which is called The Late Show by Michael Connolly. I love Michael Connolly. My favorite book by him is Void Moon. I got really tired of those Harry Bosch novels, to be really honest with you. This one is about a new detective, a female detective. And so, we laid out there for two and a half hours, I listened to my audiobook, and then we went to Doji's, and um, I had two cheese empanadas, 
and yucca fries, which I love yucca. The fries were okay. I had never had them before. Um, so I had yucca fries, and then um, I dipped all of it in this like it's green, so like greenish creamy sauce. Wasi Kaka, I've talked about it before. It's a, it's this restaurant's Venezuelan. So if you're ever in Miami, go to Doji's. It's super cheap. It's fantastic. Alex got. Alex got two empanadas and a cachapa with extra cheese. And, um, yeah, it was fantastic. And then we went to the airport. Unless I'm doing a mukbang, I hate eating on camera. Oh, my God. Nick Cotto Avocado shouted me out in his video. And I'm so excited about that. So... I'm going to go to the airport. Like, so... I'm not going to eat on the camera filming. We got to the camera, like, so... Or, God, the camera. We got to um, the airport so early. Went through customs. And we're like... So we sat there and charged our phone. And Alex watched a movie. Or he was watching Sense8. Because he had downloaded all the Sense8s. From Netflix. And so he was watching Sense8. And I read about 100 pages of Truly Madly Guilty by Liam Moriarty. And then I also started, I'm about almost halfway through The Late Show by Michael Connolly. It's really good. If you like those books, like murder mystery books like that, that are about like crime beat detectives, it's really good. I love those books. Like Robert Parker and stuff. And Who's the uh, Patricia Cornwell. She's really good, though. Like, I used, I used to exclusively listen to Patricia Cornwell in audiobooks when I used to go. So, for a long time, I, I talked about this a couple weeks ago on here. My job, okay, so when I worked in treatment, when I started my master's degree, they didn't have a position for me, but they wanted to keep me because I was getting my master's degree. Thank God they did. So they created a position for me, and I was the liaison between the treatment facility and the Department of Corrections for the state of Indiana. And so I went to um, all of the probation, the juvenile probation departments, and boys' school and girls' school, and all the probation departments, and juvenile detention centers, and I did evaluations and assessments on people that were incarcerated in detention or boys' school or girls' school. You're not really incarcerated as a juvenile, but you're in, you're detained in detention. It depends on what kind of level. Anyway, that's a whole other. I could talk for hours. I did it for so long, it's literally like the back of my hand. I loved doing that. I loved doing evaluations, and I became really good friends with a lot of probation officers, judges, parole officers in the state of Indiana. The whole cr criminal justice system is so interesting to me. Probation officers, let me just tell you, and parole officers work their asses off and make no money. They, like, literally make no money. The thing is, I don't know about other states, but in Indiana, in Indiana most of the juvenile probation officers, they don't just have caseloads of, like, kids that are detained or on probation. They also have cases of like child protection services, division of family services, things like that. Where like kids are in foster care. They also are in charge of those cases as well a lot of times because they're caseworkers and probation officers, especially in Marion County where Indianapolis is and they're just overflowed like a lot of those probation officers when I worked there if I was making like 40 a year, they were probably making 18 or 19 a year with like several years of experience. And they had caseloads of upwards of like 60 kids. Like, I mean, can you imagine? Like, how could you even keep track of that? So anyway, why was I telling that story? I don't know. What was I telling that? We were at the airport. I was reading those books. Oh, so I used to, when I drove around and did assessments, I always listened to Patricia Cornwell books. But anyway, so we were at the airport and we were sitting there. It was interesting, there was like a flight right next to us, although we were a domestic flight. I will just tell you today, I was so over it because I couldn't find a place to charge my phone. And I wanted to get on the plane and just listen to my audiobook in the dark and just enjoy my plane ride home. And my husband was so sweet. He, well, actually, he said, 
you would he like stood up he goes you stay here he goes you would never survive in an apocalypse and so he walked downstairs we were like at the very end of this area in the Miami airport and so like there were like five gates in this area and this escalator that went downstairs that had like one gate down there so we went down there I'm not even gonna get into it but what I witnessed with American Airlines and uh, the Miami International Airport down there with a flight that had fucked up. I was like, this is so interesting to me. They had literally like six, I just sat there the whole time with my earphones on. They thought I was listening to my audiobook. I wasn't, I was like totally just snooping. It just, the whole thing was very interesting to me. That's, but they took care of business. I was real impressed with it. These cops weren't letting nothing fly. Combo is really cheese chase the hunger away. I'll tell you what the best is. Are those peanut butter crackers? You know those yellow crackers? I'm talking about cheese and peanut butter with V8 juice. They're really good. So anyway, then we got on the plane, and the plane was about empty. So I moved over across, like up and across. So I had two seats, Alex had two seats. It was a very small plane. Most of the time we were in the clouds with lightning. It scared the shit out of me. I do not like to fly, I realized again tonight. Alex watched this Sensei and I sat there and listened to my audiobook, which was so good. And it was really fun. <laughs> and I sat there and I had a Coke, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm going back on my diet tomorrow. No soda, all water, but I did. I had a Coke on the plane, and it was so nice. I just sat there and sipped my Coke. I may have also bought some Chex Mix <laughs> at the little store before we went in there. I may have also bought some peanut M&Ms. <laughs> I was like, I already screwed up my diet at Doji, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna enjoy it. And I just sat there in the dark and I loved it. And I just listened to my audiobook. It was so fun. <laughs> Don't you love how the truth unfolds? I can't lie. So it, like it eventually has to come out. But I had such a fantastic trip with my husband. You know, it's so interesting because we like, you would think spending four days together in a hotel room in the pouring rain that like you would eventually just get on each other's nerves, but we didn't. We just like, we traveled together so much. You know, I was telling Tanya that because like, it's just so important for me that I show the reality of what a relationship is about on my channel. Like I really, I want people to see that. I watch so many YouTubers and vloggers that like, one day they're like doing the chapstick challenge and then a month later after not posting any videos at all they're like one of them comes on and goes well we broke up you know and this has been happening a lot lately to a lot of youtubers and i'm like why would you just not be honest with your people you know alex and i are in no way anywhere near breaking up or getting divorced but like i've said before we've had our tough times relationships are fighting over money or you know like in-laws and family vacations and where to go next or you know that and that's a, just the daily bullshit of relationships but at the end of the day you lean on each other you know and you connect over those quiet moments and i was telling tanya oh like so we got off and the plane and I came home and Alex was like talked to who's calling his best friend in LA and so I said well I'm gonna go get Tanya real quick because I haven't seen her in like a week and a half so I just dropped Tanya off a little bit ago but anyway um I said uh I was like we got along so well on this trip better than any trip we've taken in like the last year and she goes well you guys love each other so much like you do so well together when you travel She's like, I think your work and stuff and Alex, because Alex works so much. She's like, I think it's outside distractions of work sometimes, you know. Alex has a hard time not bringing it at home. And I just don't work that much, so I don't have that hard of a problem, you know, doing it. But. I love my husband so much. Nine years we've been together. That is crazy town. I can't believe it. 
Nine years. Can you imagine? I've almost been with my husband. I've been with my husband like a fifth of my life. Like, that is crazy. And I wouldn't trade it in at all. Not for one sucker. So we had a fantastic um, vacation. And on the way back, we were planning, like when we were sitting in the airport, he really wants to go to Vegas. I want to go to Vegas. I haven't been for a couple of years. He's been with his friend that lives in L.A., Sarah. Like twice, I think. Like once that he went to L.A. and then they drove there. Another time they met there for birthdays for people. But like I really want to go. I haven't been since we got married. I haven't been in six years. I want to go. And then we were talking about possibly like we really want to schedule some trips that like aren't super expensive and I'm like why don't we just go stay at shithole hotels who cares as long as we get to go to the beach so like in January or February we're going to try to maybe go to the Bahamas too like not even like and not Atlantis I wish if anybody out there has connections with Atlantis and can get me really cheap rooms let me know but I'd love to be a travel vlogger. I think that would be so much fun. I just don't make that kind of money. But, like, I'm real good, like, taking, like, a whole, like, a 10-day trip and then not going anywhere for three months or taking, like, smaller trips. But I miss my dogs, you know? Like, I love my dogs. And I love my home. Like, when I said to Alex, because I slept so well in this hotel room. I love hotel rooms so much. I traveled so much with my dad when I was growing up that, like, I don't know. I just love hotel rooms. There's something about them. I just, I just love hotel rooms. And um, Alex was like, well, I definitely sleep better, better. I go, oh, so you're happy that we got the foam bed? He's like, yeah, I love that foam bed. I sleep so well on it. Anyway. And he's asleep because he's got to be up tomorrow morning at 7. It's 2. And I'm getting ready to go home because i got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow. I thought I was going to get the dogs tonight with Tanya, but I have to get them tomorrow because they're getting groomed. I forgot. Little babies are getting groomed. Pee-Pee's getting a nail trim and a bath. He doesn't really need to get groomed. But I mean, he deserves a bath, too. Pee-Pee actually likes baths. And then I have a meeting tomorrow night. 12-step meeting. My last one for this month to share. Oh, the speakers. And then... Tomorrow, I have a meeting from 1 to 3. With a perspective... For a perspective project. And I didn't make videos today. Because we were traveling. So I'm going to make them tomorrow. And that's about it. That's my life in a nutshell. And I'm going to listen to my audiobook, and I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to sleep. So. Anyway. Thanks for following along on our vacation with us. Alex said to me today in the Uber. He said, I kind of am getting more comfortable being in the vlogs. I go, oh, you are? I go, because you were in your underwear. And he laughed. He goes, yeah, I kind of am more comfortable, like, when we're on vacation. He was like, at home, I'm so tired, like, when I come home from work and stuff, like, I don't want to be right on it, like, a camera on my face. He's like, but on vacation, I kind of like it. I was like, oh, okay. So, see if we were travel vloggers. <laughs> I need to find some rich lady out there that's, like, 80, that just wants to support my endeavors artistically. <laughs> Patty Patreon. And then, um, <laughs> I've gotten so many questions recently. People are like, are you going to start a Patreon? I'm like, no, I'm not starting a Patreon. But Patty Patreon, that would, like, support me to be a travel vlogger. Me and my husband. We come stay with her one week in a month. We go to Broadway plays with her and stuff like that. That'd be a good book, actually. Anyway, all right, you guys. I'm going to listen to my audiobook. And I'm going to listen to a little Stevie Nicks. I downloaded a bunch of Stevie Nicks live. Just like a white wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, say ooh. 
All right, you guys, I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.